Now this is what I call a whole house water heater. Yes, it is another wind temp tankless water heater. Let's get in and uh, see what this one has to offer. I really, I have two wind temps installed throughout the house and probably you've seen them before. And I really like their products because they actually do a good job. And this one has a... Uh, overheat protection and all that good stuff and yes you can connect it to an app just like the other wind temps so you can control everything with an app everything is laid out just like the other wind temps but much bigger and before i proceed with the video i'll show you some parts of how to install it but i must say you have to hire an electrician to install this one this is just this one how it installs let me pull it out of here and then i'll uh, tell you with words really quick how this one is installed and in here we have the uh, instructions manual we have a template that goes against the wall to install it just like the other ones we have the app download and qr code and all that stuff and here's your wireless receiver it just magnetically goes anywhere so you can install it to your app and besides that we have the anchors for the wall right here. And as I was saying, how you install this one, you have to put four 40 amp breakers. So let me just open it up and show you why you need four 40 amp breakers with uh, at least eight gauge wires. And yep, you take the screws. There is uh, one here, one here, uh, one here, and one here. There's four screws and the door should open technically. Yep, just like that. It has hinges, well, hinges, two pins on both uh, top and bottom. So you don't need to take all those screws. You just take these four. And of course, this is a receiver that stays here. And the reason why you need four uh, breakers by 40 amps is right here. You have the heaters or the uh, elements are 40 amp each. One, two, three, four. And here on the bottom, you just simply connect, uh, for example, line one, line two, line one, line two, line one, line two, line one, and line two. Because of course, when it comes from the breaker, you have two lines. So one is line one, 110 vo 120 volts, and one line two, 120 volts. So it makes a 240 volts needed to run one of these modules here. This is your PCB. These are all PCBs with the sensors and with everything. And you need at least uh, three quarters, 0 0.7 gallons of uh, per minute in order for it to activate. So you install here, inlet and outlet. Let me just show you really quick. This is quite heavy, so don't uh, don't underestimate it. And of course, this is the inlet, the blue, where cold water comes in. And the red is where hot water comes out. And uh, here, these are three quarters. These are not half. These are three quarters uh, piping and they already have little uh, filters inside. So it filters the water. Don't forget the rubber gaskets. And I always like to see the water on the rubber or on the cap here, meaning that it was actually inspected and tested by someone before it was sent. I always like that about Wintem, that they actually test every unit before they ship it out by an actual human being that knows what uh, he or she is doing. And of course, the first one here, the yellow cable is always your ground. So this one goes to the ground and the rest are your four breakers. So one, two, three, four by 40 amp breakers. Now, if you find an uh, eight by eight, meaning eight wires, eight gauge each, that would be kind of the perfect world. Plus one, I guess you should say in this one because you're gonna need the uh, ground two to go back to the panel. That would be great because you can come just with one wire and insert it in one of these and connect them. But otherwise we're gonna do it how I'm gonna do it. Just every single breaker, comes with the two wires right here and I'm just gonna wrap them because they're gonna go in the ceiling anyway so nobody will see them and uh, I'm gonna put four here and four here so they go here and it's actually marked pretty good it says here l1 l2 l1 l2 and so on and the ground here and besides that there is nothing really to talk about except yes it has the thermal protection here thermal cutouts are right here in each one of the heaters or ele heat elements so it will protect itself and it will protect from uh, having any heavens forbid problems that like fire and with that said 
I think I'm just gonna go and uh, throw it in the wall, is what else is there to talk about. One more thing, before you install it, just in case I cannot just lift it willy-nilly that easy, when you uh, put the pattern on the wall, or the layout paper on the wall, this one, and you do the holes here and here, make sure you have a power tool or something and pre-drill the holes on the wall. Because you have to put these uh, heavy anchors because this thing is quite heavy. So just don't uh, don't be that guy. Just look at the anchors that come with it. <laughs> these are not a joke. These are big anchors. And uh, ideally, you would have somebody helping you lift it to the wall and uh, yeah pretty much that is it all i can say about it and it's a really good unit i mean i've never been disappointed with Wintem. that's what i use in my own house so i have no reason to say otherwise because i like it and of course the uh, panel here is just like in their other units with a screen right here temperature regulator or i mean increase and decrease that's what i mean by regulator it has auto temp regulator inside too by the way so it does that and here you can switch it to centigrades or fahrenheit turn it off and on and with combinations of buttons you can turn off and on the wi-fi as well and the beauty of these is that it looks like a lot 36 kilowatts right but when you think about it these go to sleep when you're not using them so it's not using any energy at all only when you open that tap or that shower or whatnot that you might be using i'm gonna go install it and uh, you'll see me installing it too and we'll see it working okay so that's where i decided to put it i don't have a lot of space left but uh it works because i'm gonna have to redo this whole uh little laundry room anyway but for now it will supply the entire house because that's where my mains come in anyway for water and electricity that's i don't have the sub panel that far from here so it actually works just routed the wires and we're gonna plug the wires through here really quick i'm gonna put uh four wires on this side and four wires on this side because of course you have eight wires for uh four line one and four line two actually have nine wires because you'll need the uh ground as well and uh that's what we're gonna do but first i'm gonna go with the lines and uh we're gonna turn on but just make sure before you do absolutely anything the water either here or wherever your water comes in is turned off and all the electricity is turned off not only these four uh 40 amp breakers that i have for this one i actually turn off the main breaker of the entire house just to make sure so we don't have any shadow of a doubt that the electricity is off and with that said i'm gonna put a different angle camera because i said i'm restricted in space here so i cannot play around too much and uh, we'll show you just plug it in the wires and then we'll turn it on and that's it basically there's really not much else to say there i'm just gonna route them like this for here let me just uh actually i don't need to open it this much these are eight gauge wires that I happen to have around. I'm gonna put these four here and the other four in the other side and we should be in a good place to go. These are a little bit tricky to put through because I mean eight gauge is not the thickest but it's it's just thick enough to not be able to twist it as easy. Okay boom that's that's what I want to see. I left a little bit extra, so I don't need to worry about that part. Okay. And now what we're going to do, and as I see, I had a whole spool of these wires. That's why you see them all same color, but they're not the same color. Line ones are with this uh, black ribbon, and the other ones, I mean line ones are the ones without the black ribbon, and line twos are the ones with the black ribbon. So it kind of corresponds here the red and black and uh, i'm gonna go ahead and install them the screws in here are just a flathead screw nothing really too big but you're not going to be able to do it with one of these big flatheads because these are too wide as you see and go with one of these that don't, don't have the kind of shovel side or whatever you want to call that and let me just uh, see yeah look this one fits just perfect look at that and uh let me go with uh whew, one of the line ones right here and uh we'll probably speed up this process here so i don't bore you i'm just gonna put them all on 
really quick as i said i don't have a lot of space to work here so i'm trying not to put both hands but i'm making sure that they are actually connected there <laughs> so and these are all each one breaker 40 amp breaker and how I distincted those is that they're all, one is shorter, one is longer. So I know two and two, two long ones go in one breaker, two shorter ones in the next breaker. So at least mentally, that's how I remember. I highly suggest you do this in a better way than me. Do it with actual colors and get the proper cables. They sell a 4x4x8 four by four by gauge. Uh, in one bundle plus uh, one which would be plus one for the ground I didn't happen to have one in my store so I'm gonna go with what I found so this one so far works and now the other long one that goes with this breaker is this one right here not this one right here at least for me but let me open this up a little bit okay and as I said I'm not gonna bore you this whole time I'm just gonna go ahead Plug them in, tie them up, and uh, we'll be right back. As you see, I left one of the stems a little bit too long. Let me cut it really quick. One thing I don't like is to leave these uh, peeled stems too long. And then, heavens forbid, you touch it or something after, you don't want that. So just cut them the right size now, so you don't need to do extra work later. That just makes more sense. And uh, Let me just plug it there. Boom now we're talking oh yeah and just like that as you see we have the electric part of it completely installed and we have line one line two line one line two and the same in the other side line one line two line one line two and ground ground i uh, had a piece of wire this is even though it doesn't look like i don't know for some reason on camera but uh this is a full single wire it's not multi-threads like these it's just one of those are really thick ones so it'll do the job and uh we are kind of ready to go but one thing i 100 percent cannot stress enough anytime you install one of these water heaters do not i mean do not start it without priming even though they're pre-primed before they come from factory these uh wind temp units they all come pre-primed I, I i appreciate that from them actually but one thing you want to do release the water slowly i'm gonna do it right here really quick okay i'm not gonna go full force on it just releasing probably a little bit more than half this we have a lot of high pressure water here we have a lot of water and these are three quarter pipes these are not a joke that's three quarters piping so there's a lot of pressure coming through there and let it prime plus you make sure there's no leaks before you turn on the electricity you want to make sure you have no leaks of course there's not going to be leaks inside but make sure there's no leaks on your mains where your main water comes in because that could be a problem too because look there's electric wires and all that that crosses around. You don't want to even risk the appearance of an impropriety here. <laughs> it's, 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 it's not a joke. Besides that, we see we don't have any water leaks here. At this point, I feel very confident to actually close it and turn on this is the Wi-Fi unit here. I'm not sure I might have to blur that because it contains the barcode. For the app to register in the app and uh, besides that there's nothing else left to it actually they, they they turn on and off and all that stuff that's uh kind of the secondary thing that it's different for everybody how you use it and what you use it and how the rest of the installation on electric and water is in your house because uh this one i suggest you need at least three to four hundred amps of service and I have a really tight space here because this one is quite big and uh, I'm just going to show you the numbers. They're basically like all the other wind temp numbers and you can access it by the same exact app and everything. And uh, we're going to turn on the water and see the numbers go up here. And as you see, you can put the numbers up as much as you want. I really don't want it. I don't put it over 125 is really this does a lot of work 
and it doesn't need to be over 125 on my case this does the job and uh, I'm gonna go turn on the water and uh, you'll see the numbers rising as much as I can because this is this is something else it really can cover not just an entire big house but I would say even if you have a small business this will do it is I literally can turn on the uh, dishwasher the shower and uh, the clothes washer and somehow it actually gets them all going and yes I turn on the faucet the yeah the faucet on the sink and actually I still get hot water but in your case depends how much water you have coming into the house too that's not going to be exactly the same for all of us but basically this thing does the job so let me turn on the water and you'll see the numbers right and we're gonna turn on the water really quick so right now the cold water is going through and look what it took and this room is almost in the opposite of a house huh and literally it took it to 127 130 not a problem at all look at that now this is what i call a beast so and it's made of full metal it's not plastic or nothing but it will take you a little bit of space because this laundry room that i'm here on is a little bit smaller space but it does the job and it fit this one just enough just enough by chance <laughs> so yeah i'm going to turn off the water because it's really a lot okay so as we saw it works and it works really good and uh yeah I'm, I'm really actually very happy with its workability functionality and its uh design it's really beautiful now my hands are a little bit big but this unit is big i know it doesn't look big next to my hand but let me give you a real quick measurement before i close this whole video i totally forgot about that so top down 19 uh inches or 49 centimeters that's a that's a that's a big boy 19 and a half inches actually and the width we're talking about 35 centimeters or four around 14 inches so that's over a foot and yeah that's yeah it makes sense over a foot because my palm is kind of that almost a foot itself so yeah really really beautiful we'll see you next time please like and subscribe if you got anything out of this video and i uh, thank you for watching link will be down in the description that link will not be between me and wintemp it's between me and amazon as an affiliate link i might make a few pennies if you buy from this if you need one of these huge units for your entire house or small business other than that we'll see you next time bye